Good day, good day, everyone. Mr. Economist here, and welcome to some more Banished. I keep on wanting to say Factorio. I have no idea what it is. Anyway, uh, we ended off. We we ended last episode with that stupid food merchant. We don't need food, and they thought it would be a good idea to sell us food. Whatever. Um, we're building this area out here, which is actually taking a long time because we don't have much wood. Which is weird. Uh, they're being stupid. Why is there that a building? Yeah, both the builders. Forester builder. Gonna have some uh, roots and things over here, so that's good. We should probably designate all this stone and iron to be collected. Just because. Um, Otherwise, the foresters won't be cutting down logs. They'll be fo focusing on collecting the. Well, they will cut down logs, but they'll also be collecting stone and iron, which slows down their log collection. And I don't want that. I need logs. I don't really need stone and iron, so I'll get my laborers to go collect all this iron and stone. And then our foresters will be nice and efficient. That is a lot of things to collect. <laughs> We've already got 1,500 stone um, iron. It is ridiculous. Okay, so our gatherers are done. Uh, so let's add in another two. Get them up to 10 people. I'm going to need another two here, actually. So, build a gatherer. Position student. Stupid. A 25 year old student? What the hell? Are my people dumb? A 25 year old student? And now it's laborer. Congratulations! Vassity. <laughs> Whatever. People are stupid apparently. You know, if our um... Fuel situ home fuel situation doesn't improve with these extra logs... I might just go and start mining coal so people, and release it to the general public for people to use in their homes. I hate doing that. I really do, but I might have to, just so people can stay warm. What have you got? What is wrong with you? We don't want your dirty food. We've got our own. Get lost. Average health, average happiness is pretty good. Okay, so all the building jobs over here have finished. They still haven't... There we go. Gatherer, Forester. Forester, Gatherer. Okay, I bet everything makes sense now. Yeah, look at that. Nice and efficient. So they live down here. They've got food here. And then a central stockpile. Yes, I like that. Oh, here we go. Actually selling things that are worthwhile, I think. No, I spoke too soon. General goods merchant, you didn't bring any iron, stone, or tools. I don't trade with you. Okay. We are down to 265 people. 264. Yeah, it's a decent sized town. Village, really. got a 300 stone kicking around because we're just tearing up all the stone around here. I'm surprised we haven't got the message, you, you know, you have no stockpiles or room to store things, blah blah blah. We just, we don't really. I'm going to build some more central stockpiles here. One, two, three, over. I guess they're seven by seven. I'll put that in there. And we are at our clothing limits. Well, why aren't you getting more clothing? Are you focusing on leather again? 371 coats. Yep, you're focusing on leather. Stupid. We 
designate some more traders or vendors, whatever they're called. What are they called? Traders. If we designate some more traders, will they go grab some coats? Nope, still leather. <sighs> People are dumb. People are dumb. How much leather do we have? We only got 12. Like, could you stop collecting leather or go get some coats? I wish there was a way you could, like, bump this up to make it higher priority. Yeah, whatever. We're at... Oh, look, we've actually got some firewood. It's amazing. And we are producing logs. Some logs. So that is good. How's this fire maker going? Woodcutter, whatever they're called. Looks like they're producing a little bit more, perhaps? I don't know. This stockpile is full of crap, so they can't really... I guess we'll need another stock. We'll make it... 3 by 6 More stockpiles! Stockpiles make everything better. We've got another trader. Sheep! I think we're full on sheep because we've just got so much mutton. We've now got 19,000 mutton! Um, do we even have storage? Oh yeah, we've got storage. Steel tools. I would hate for these barns to burn down. Please don't ever catch fire. We would lose all those steel tools. Hey, they brought some wool, wool coats over. We don't, want your, we don't want your livestock. We've got our own. I haven't had anyone die in the quarry for a while. I guess that's because it's not being worked. That would make sense. They don't have much food in here. Do these guys have food? Oh yeah, they got plenty of food. That's, that's fine. Go away. There's no merchant here. Go away, notification. Oh, that annoys me more than it should. I like this little area. It's taking a while for them to collect everything though. Why are they not, um, here we go. Why are they not building the stockpile? Do it. Build the stockpile. We're up to 516 stone, which is quite a bit. It would probably make sense for me to make these stone paths. That would cost so much stone. Went. That would actually make sense, that path. I bet they would use it too. I'm gonna build that. It's 96 stone, we can afford it right now. And this is a little bit derpy. That was another, probably, I don't know, a hundred. And then that's Stone Road too. Okay, cool, so we've got Stone Road all the way out here. And kind of down to here, so that, that's fine. I don't think we need more Stone Road at the moment. We've got... People are, like, doing stupid death marches around here. Stop that! You'll, you'll freeze to death. Stupid people. How... why would they think this is quicker? And going along here. Whatever. Whatever. We're getting kind of close to our food cap. And I still have to set up orchards. I've been saying that now for ages. Let's just set up one. So I, I can say I've done it. How much room do you need for a house? I'll just put a house down there. Only 15 by 15. Okay, if we put that there, can we put another orchard? We can. Sweet. Oh, we'll put we'll put two orchards. 
I forgot how many people you need per orchard. I guess one will grow apples and one will grow oranges or something. No. What seeds do we have? Apples. Oh, there aren't or oranges in the game. I guess we could do apples and pears. Pears are, pears are nice. Maybe some kind of nut. Like walnuts. They're alright. Pecans. We'll do apples and walnuts. That's what we'll do. No, 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 no. No, we don't need logs anymore. Go away. I'm going to raise the log limit. To 750. I think that's a good number. What's our fuel limit at? 750? Okay. We got through... Oh, hang on, no. Don't mind me. I was going to say we got through winter without people getting cold or running out of firewood, but no, we just went through spring, not winter. Okay, they're building the path. People are going... <laughs> people are going along this path for like 400 kilometers an hour. Zoom! Break the sound barrier. <laughs> it's ridiculous. They run as fast as the Terminator. Look at that. Maybe it's because we're playing in speed 10. Let's go like to speed 1. There we go. Still walk pretty fast. You can see the speed boost when they get on. Oh no, he didn't, he didn't walk on the path, he just glitched through a fence. I bet this guy's a student. Yes, he's a student. He's bigger than a child. Child, student. Oh, I never even noticed that. But... Okay, so you got three sizes. You got a child, which is the smallest, a student, which is the middle, a teenager, and then a citizen, or a laborer, an adult. I, oh, okay, that makes sense. I just don't really zoom into my town that often. What's that on the floor? Oh, it's like plants, berries, or something. Roots. These still aren't built. Come on, people, stop being lazy. I built um, I built them the right size, right? So I derped last time. Seems about the right size. So. All this beef and leather just being thrown on the floor. Well, I guess that would be why. Let's build some more barns. Barns for everyone. I can't put anything there. Okay, well... One, two, three. Oh, we can fit barns all the way up here. Nice. Okay. One, two, three, barn. One, two, three, barn. One, two, three, barn. That's not three, that's four, isn't it? Yes, this is. Move road. Move structure. And the reason I'm spacing these barns out is just because I don't like building things too close together, especially barns, in case there's a fire. That's. I'm, I'm extremely. Wow, look at all this food that's been dumped. I'm very worried about fires. Because if a barn burns, you lose all the stuff in it. So, that kind of sucks, especially if it's like a barn full of steel tools or something. If it was a barn full of food, I wouldn't care, but a barn full of steel tools, you don't want to lose that. Cool, let's uh, grow some apples. Two or three, do you need three people to work it? I don't know. This one will grow walnuts. I guess we'll just go up to 58. We've got the laborers to spare. Might as well. These are getting built quickly. Nice to see. Uh, we're gonna need an extra house up here. There are so many barns around that they should be able to be supplied with good, amount, good amounts of food. Uh, these guys... 
Need houses. Let's build some houses for them. House. House. Okay. And we get to finish the episode with not one but two merchants. Nice. What have you got? Crap. Go away. What have you got? You better have some stone or something good. Oh, goodness. Alright. That'll do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time. This is Mr. Economist, signing out.